like any other average white boy from Ohio, I have dabbled in to the world of rap. And obviously, rap opinions and takes can get very controversial at times. And the other day, I was just chilling, and I got the random thought in my head. Let me ask my Snapchat AI, what is their top 10 rap and R&B albums of all time? Is my AI correct here with the opinion? You can cry about it in the comments. But I thought I'd take it upon myself to listen to these albums. And apparently these are all 10 out of 10s. So this should be a life-changing experience. Let's dig in. At the number 10 spot, we have Mad Villainy by the talented MF Doom and Mad Lib. It was a joint album. This is one of the only ones on the list that I myself have actually dabbled into before looking at this list. But of course, just for the fun sake, I am gonna listen to it again because why not? Mad Villainy. As I said earlier, if you were paying attention, I listened to this previously and all I can remember was that it was just very creative and weird and just overall a fun album. So let's just dive in. You can't see me right now, but I'm hitting a little boogie. Just listening to this, I mean, I feel like a mysterious villain walking through the city. I mean, it really just paints a picture up there. Also, before we move on with this video, um, I'd like to point out that obviously I can't play any of the music in the video because that obviously like doesn't abide to the copyright rules. And I'm trying to make a scent off this video. I mean, I have children to feed. Anyways, let's continue. A few moments later. All right, I can confirm this definitely still holds up. I mean, in my eyes, this is a 10. I mean, the wordplay and just fun aspect of it, it just holds up. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Such a creative artist. Cheers. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, who? Pop Smoke. Now we got one I am excited for, Blonde by Frank Ocean. This is one of the more R&B ones on this list, and it is probably one of the most popular R&B albums of all time. I mean, the amount of hype this gets, all I'm saying is I'll be the judge of that. If it's overrated, I'm going to call it out. Also, people talk about how emotional this album is. Yeah, I'm not a little wuss, so I'm not going to be like dripping tears. My allergies are really hitting this time of year. <laughs> now, like I said earlier, it paints a picture. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at a sunset right now. It's majestic. Mm. Also, I'd like to talk about how iconic this album cover is. I mean, look at it. Oh, wait, that's not Frank Ocean. That's Wolf Tunes YT. I don't really know what the point of that joke was. But anyways, we move. Okay, okay. I understand the hype. This is a really good album. I kind of wanted to call it overrated, but no, I, I just I just can't. This is definitely a 10. I mean, this album was made in 2016. Surely he has released so much new and improved music since then. I mean, I'm just so excited to see what this guy has in store. Now we have Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. I myself am a Kendrick Lamar fan, but I've never sat down and listened to this album like start to finish. So I'm excited to see what we have here. And with Kendrick Lamar, I have high expectations. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar, his storytelling is just unmatched. You know, I expected to be crying over Frank Ocean, but not Kendrick Lamar. I mean, this is just a really creative song. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, this is a 10. Honestly, I'm surprised it's not higher. The Blueprint by Jay-Z. I don't know what to expect at all. Yeah, I did not know what to really expect from this, but I like it. I'm kind of a word guy and Jay-Z does a really good way of uh, articulating his words in his lyrics. 
Wow, those were a lot of big words. I think this album definitely deserves its spot on the list. I mean, definitely ahead of its time, I'll say that. Now we have Confessions by Usher. Yeah, this will happen when you put R&B and rap together. Uh, this will come in the list. Uh, I have i don't even know what to expect here, so let's just listen to it. Uh, I kind of feel like I'm at the club right now, but in reality, it's like 1 a.m. right now, and I'm filming a YouTube video, so um, I should probably turn this down, and I don't want to get copyrighted, but Usher, you're kind of killing it. While I do think this is a good album, I just don't really think it fits on this list of rap. I will say it is definitely fun, and it's definitely creative, especially for its time. I would replace it with something like The College Dropout by Kanye West. Had to mention him. But yeah, put all the interesting statements aside. Just based off a music standpoint, this is a really, really good album. And I think it was snubbed from the list. I just wanted to put that out there. Now at the number five spot, we have To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. He makes his second appearance on the list. With Kendrick Lamar, you can always tell the genuine emotion there. It's always just so much passion about what he's talking about, about what he's trying to get accomplished with the songs. I mean, it's really good stuff. This is going to be my hot take, my controversial take of the video. I think Good Kid Mad City is better than this, not going to lie. I don't think this is Kendrick's best work. Now at the number four spot, we have Ready to Die by The Notorious B.I.G. Um, I don't know what to expect here. I've heard really, really good things. So let's give it a listen. Uh, I don't really have much to say about this album, but I can see why a lot of people like it. I mean, his storytelling's really good. His wordplay is just really good. I can see why people loved this. Also, can you see my reflection? What's up, guys? Bitch, at this game, son. Oh, God. Overall, I think Ready to Die by Biggie was a good album. I don't know if it deserves this high up on the list, but we'll let it slide. Now we have The Chronic by Dr. Dre. All right, I'm listening to These Nuts right now, and I can just tell how creative this all is. I mean, I like it so far. Honestly, I can never see myself listening to this on the daily, but that's just me. Um, I still think it deserves its spot on the list. Now we have The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. I have very, very high expectations for this. I mean, I'm like, I'm pretty sure the Apple Music top 100 albums of all time, this was number one album of all time. So um, I'm going to call it out if it's overrated. Now this is another one that I can't see myself listening to on the daily, but I definitely see why it's so uh, held up high. I mean, it tackles a lot of topics that probably weren't tackled back then. I can definitely understand the hype for this. And now the moment you have all been waiting for. You are on the edge of your seat if you're even still watching. I appreciate that. We have the number one album, according to my AI, in many, many lists. Illmatic by Nas. Yes, kind of a safe pick, but I don't mind listening to it again because I have listened to it before. Yeah, I definitely see the hype. I mean, <clears throat> what, smoke pack? Yeah, I definitely see the hype. This, The World Is Yours, probably one of my favorite rap songs of all time. I mean, it's up there, top three. I definitely see the hype with this. It's a safe number one pick, but I mean, it's just so good. It definitely deserves its spot. Now, after hours of analyzing these so-called great Hall of Fame albums, I, Wolf Tunes YT, will be rearranging the list. This is the part where you get mad and you can criticize me on my list. Now, as you can see, there are some albums in here that we didn't even react to today, but I just thought deserved the spot more. I would say something like, oh, this is just my opinion, but my opinion is fact, so you can take that however you want to. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. This was a fun video to do, a lot different than most of the videos on this channel, but I enjoyed doing it. Um, yeah, this was a lot different. Normally, I'm funny in these videos, or at least I try to be. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Riot in the comments about my takes. Love you.